Hi. It's a fine summer evening and I've just finished competing in a five kilometre race. I've just about recovered, but the time now is 20 to 8 and there's one Premier League game this evening. It comes from Stamford Bridge where Chelsea have their second home game in three days against Aston Villa. And as we speak, the usual Chelsea music is playing and the fans are applauding the teams as they come out the tunnel. That will be underway in a few minutes and I'm just going to take it easy this evening as I listen to it on the radio. Just make up a, a long leisurely route back home from where I've run. OK? So uh, it's kicking off in a minute. Join me. They've just got underway in Stamford Bridge. A minute or so gone. The school remains nil-nil at the moment. Chelsea playing very well this evening, just as they were on Sunday. And for the second consecutive match, they've made the breakthrough early. Chelsea are ahead after six minutes, this time courtesy of an own goal from Antonio Luna, the uh, Villa left-back. So, all smiles in West London again. 1-0, game on. He does indeed. After 11 minutes then, Chelsea still lead 1-0 after that six-minute own goal. And that's all to tell you at the moment. Just under 20 minutes gone at Stamford Bridge. And Mourinho's Chelsea are still that one goal up from an Antonio Luna own goal after six minutes. The new Villa signing scoring at the wrong end, unlike at Arsenal where he scored at the right one. Chelsea free kick coming up from a good position. But unlike against Hull City on Sunday, Lampard not successful this time. We're around halfway through the first half here. A whack of the head there for Kieran Clark, the Villa player. It was a bit of it was a bit of a whack in the head for Aston Villa when Chelsea got that early goal. Well, more than half an hour gone. That remains the score. After a blistering start, Chelsea have just calmed things down a little bit. The Chelsea fans will be fairly content at the moment. With five minutes to go until half-time, their team still lead. As I sit here and watch the sun go down. No, I lied. We're in a car park with buildings and trees surrounding us. But the sun probably has gone down by now as it starts to slowly get dark. Aston Villa equalise! It's Benteke again! It's a stunner! By the sound of it, the last kick of the half in the last minute of three minutes of stoppage time. That's a spanner in the works. Wow. Incidentally, we've uh, ended up spending the entire half here just parked in this car park. Well, we're about to drive off now. Just as Aston Villa get into gear. Stan Collymore, an Aston Villa fan, cannot hide his delight at that goal. It's the first one Chelsea concede under Mourinho in his second spell. And the half-time whistle is going to go any second with that. And it does go. There you are. Chelsea have work to do if they're going to win this game. However, all they have to do is avoid defeat and they will be top of the Premier League at least for a few days. So I'm going to drive home over half time and just probably feature the second half from in the house. OK, let's go. I'm now back at the house, as you can see, in our kitchen. And the second half has kicked off at Stamford Bridge. How will Chelsea respond to that setback? The score is one apiece and we're about to find out. An hour gone. Villa are playing well. It's still all square. A lot of possession for Chelsea, but they can't find that break in the deadlock yet. Controversy at Stamford Bridge. Oh! Chelsea have taken the lead. This is live. This is not five minutes ago. This is live. Ivanovic. It's 2-1 Chelsea from a set piece. But what's extraordinary is Ivanovic should have been given a straight red card two minutes earlier. A blatant elbow. But he only got a yellow from the referee. 
He stayed on when he should have been sent off, and now he's given Chelsea the lead. Soft low for Villa. They don't deserve this on the second half showing, but Chelsea are ahead. With about 19 minutes to go in this game, extraordinary stuff. 15 minutes left, and it was around the 70th minute that Ivanovic got his goal. Probably 71 minutes, 72 perhaps, in the, in the early 70s anyways. Goodness me, Chelsea, get away with it by the skin of their teeth. Almost 2-2. Two, two. Per check though, is a hero on this occasion. And as we approach the end of the 90 minutes, Chelsea are not there yet. They're still on course for three points, but it's nervous. Last chance saloon for Villa. They've got a free kick, virtually right to the death. They did it in the first half, can they do it again? They're still in possession of Villa. Well, they should be proud of themselves, Villa, even if they do go on to lose this. Arsenal and Chelsea away their first two games of the season. Most fans would say, oh, we'll probably lose both. But they've got three points and could still get one here. I think Villa, I think Chelsea have defended it, though. We've just parked at the side of the road. We've just gone out somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. I've just... Oh, I've just stopped by the side of the road. And uh, it's very tense. We're in the middle of five minutes of stoppage time. It's all happening. Villa trying to get the equaliser. Chelsea holding on a bit. As I say, we're just uh, off out somewhere. So, yeah, the last ten minutes, the last ten minutes of the game plus stoppages, we've uh, listened to it in our car. After the first half, parked in a car somewhere else, and uh, we were just eating our dinner during the first half an hour of the second half. So, two minutes to go, Chelsea are nearly there, and they would go three points clear at the top of the Premier League. Chelsea have done it, they've got the points, and to be honest, it's been a narrow, nervous win. Have they deserved it on the run of play? Barely. And the referee has helped Chelsea out big time tonight. Not only did Ivanovic stay on the pitch when he should have gone off and then scored the winning goal, but John Terry uh, handled the ball. Yeah, I think it could have been a Villa penalty right at the end during stoppage time there. Nonetheless, though, Chelsea win. And the happy one, Mourinho in charge of the happy ones, Chelsea. Six points out of six for Chelsea. Full scored, one conceded after the 2-0 win against Hull City and the 2-1 win against Villa. Chelsea have played well in spells of both matches, but have not been on top form yet. The players are still gelling, but they've got two wins from two winnable home games and are not even near full capacity yet. That's what everyone associated with Chelsea will say. So the Blues win 2-1 as the Chelsea anthem plays around Stamford Bridge. Interesting game. And it's now all about waiting and looking forward to the weekend. So see you in a few days, but goodbye for now.